Mr. President, thank you very much for joining us here on a Thursday night in Nyack. Hello. Hello. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> Probably made in China. Yeah. Uh, Maybe the we want a great American microphone. Uh, anyway, thank you for uh, making it up to uh, to New York. Of course, this is where you're from. This area. Sure. Well, you know, not this area really. Have you? Do you are you familiar with this area? It's called Nyack. Is that right? Yes. Nyack. We love Nyack. Don't we love Nyack? We love Nyack. Yeah. Anyway, just a couple. That's <laughs> fucking uh, creepy. Just a few questions for you, Mr. President, if you wouldn't mind. Where, where are you going? Just exploring the space. Okay. Uh, you've technically been acquitted, uh, your impeachment, and so... Great. One of the great acquittals, really, in the history of the country. Oh, Maybe yes. a, I mean, sure. ever, really, one of the great acquittals. Exactly. Well, here's the thing. Uh, you were clearly guilty of, of extorting a, a foreign country for your own partisan political purposes. You held foreign aid from Ukraine. It's a perfect our... call. It's like a perfect call. No, it was a crime. And but I, it's I, an acquittal. I, I worry that now you're going to feel kind of unleashed to just continue to commit crimes and continue to extort countries. That's a big concern a lot of us. Well, I already called my good friend Xi. We know Xi in China, very tough. He's already kidnapped Elizabeth Warren's golden retriever. What? And Bailey is dead. We what? Bailey. You had Elizabeth Warren's dog killed? Well, you know what? It's tough. Politics is tough. <laughs> it is. That's for God's sake. Who does that? That's well, horrible. the Chinese, they use all of the dogs. Oh, that's deeply offensive. Do we have any... Nobody cares. We're in Rockland. Um... So what, what, do you, what do you think about what happened in Iowa, Mr. President? I know you were... Well, I mean, you got so many losers. Unbelievable losers. So, uh, you got Crazy Bernie. We got Crazy Bernie running around looking like Doc Brown from... Uh, <laughs> Back to the Future, that, that. Yeah. Then we got Mayor Pete Buttigieg. Yes. Buttigieg. Yes. Edgeg. We say Edgeg. Yeah. Try saying that. Try saying that at the UN. I don't think so. What? Elizabeth Warren, Bocantis, she has no chance because she'll be mourning her dog. So she's out. We're going to find Hunter. We're going to find Hunter behind him. You're going to find him? Well, we're going to find him. And he's not lost. Well, he's probably at a strip club right now. So okay, we, uh, well, then that would be kind of... Not a good guy, not our best. Not our best. You've got a problem with strip clubs. Well, you know, as a great Christian. I don't <laughs> right, yeah, I get it. Two uh, Corinthians, you know, walk into a bar and they say, Jesus, it's one of my favorite verses. Yeah. One of the great Bible verses, but I like the whole Bible. I think it's unfair to pick a favorite verse. What is your... Do you, what do you prefer, the Old Testament or the New Testament? There's a lot of, you know, there's good in <laughs> Is there? Is there, right? You know, yeah. Moses, it would have been nice if he could have gotten to the promised land, but he was kind of weak. <laughs> but then Jesus was like, too nice. Like, you put me on a cross, I'm going to have Bill Barr take up your whole family. Jesus was too nice, should have gotten a bigger laugh. Kind of a weak, uh, kind of, you know, we, we like our tough Christians. Yeah. He was kind of a weak one. But now, uh, are you concerned about the uh, the Wuhan virus? Are you, uh, the coronavirus, rather? Are you concerned about what's happening? Well, I'm more concerned about the Wu-Tang Clan, you know, you see... Yeah, I understand. You see seven African-Americans walking down the street towards you, I'm more afraid of the Klan than right. the, uh, the right. whoever the that virus. he's gay, people to judge. Do you care about that at all? I have, this is what I, mean. I am a great ally to the LGBTQ community. Right. My vice president, first gay vice president in America. What? Is that your, what? Mike, that, who? Is that? Right. Big gay Mike Pence, we love big gay Mike Pence. Big gay Mike Pence? He calls his, you got it, he calls his wife mother, who does that? Uh, all I know is he, he rented Bohemian Rhapsody 19 times on the White House pay-per-view, so... I don't want to know what he's going to do when Rocket Man shows up on pay-per-view. Might break the system. Right, right. Well, I don't really want to do my act. So anyway, I... 
know you have a New Jersey Transit to get, sir. Well, we're gonna have to go get Metro North, but that's fine. We like Metro North. If we do? Well, you know, not really. You take public transportation? Well, you gotta mix with the people sometimes. You love the people. I don't so. think you do. I don't think you love anyone. Well, I'm not an elitist. Yes. Obviously, Pete is an elite lib. Yes, I'm an elite lib. Maybe even a cuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, for sure, cuck. I'm for sure a cuck. Stay away from my drink. Um, <laughs> all right, well, I just want to say thank you for joining me, Mr. President, and I hope that you have a severe aneurysm. Well, I'm gonna tell Why you. do other good people, excuse like good me. people in our lives, have to die? Excuse and me. he. I'm excuse sorry, me. I'm excuse sorry, me. I'm sorry, I'm just wishing your death. Excuse me. Melania only does aneurysm on my birthday. All right. Okay. We gotta respect our great first lady. She's a tremendous, tremendous third first lady. She's yes. Third, third your third, lady. your third wife. You, you've had affairs. You've cheated on all of your wives. The last of which you cheated on Melania with a porn star while she was pregnant. How do you? Excuse me. I would never have sex with a pregnant porn star. No, I didn't say that. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. I think you misunderstood what I had said. Very disgusting. Yeah. I'm not a low life. Maybe that's what you would do. Maybe that's who I would do. I would, actually. I don't have any problem with that. I think that's just fine. Are you just going to do that for a little while? Very, very modern president. All right. Well, I don't want this to end. But I'll ask you. Twelve one. more years. Twelve more years. Yeah, we're gonna have to all kill ourselves in front of you. You we give up. Um, finally, the thing that, I, that I'm most concerned with, sir, 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 him, um, is, cli is climate change. You are in denial about the science behind climate change. Uh, what is it going to take for you to come to your senses on this issue and do something before it's too late? We're going to have great. Clear drinking water. What? Very good air. We gotta breathe good air. Right. We want great water and great air for our great people. But we also don't want to kill business. Did you say we want great air and water Tremend from well, great people? That makes no sense. It doesn't four, make any sense. Excuse me, four. Sorry. It's called four great people. Oh. In other words, four. Me, Melania, Ivanka. Right. Give it up, everybody, for the President of the United States.